Americans of the Central Valley were a mostly gentle and friendly people. They were very devoted to their family and fellow tribe members. They also had strong beliefs in the Great Spirit and felt that everything in nature was tied to that spirit. This accounts for most of the art and entertainment in the Native American culture. Basketry was a very important part of the Native Americans' everyday life. By weaving natural fibers such as grasses, roots, and tree bark, the Native Americans would make everything from clothes, weapons, housing, boats, and yes, even baskets. The Native American name for basket was Amit. The range of uses for baskets was as varied as the patterns used for decoration. All the materials used were gathered from local resources, which meant different regions had to use different types of material. The Yokut Indians lived in the foothills east of Sanger in the Squaw Valley, Wonder Valley, and Dunlap areas. These Yokuts used materials such as redbud, which was the carefully stripped skin from new tree branches to give the red color in the design. Bracken fern root was also carefully stripped to add the black weaving material in the baskets. Sourberry shoots, being rigid, were used for strong support and framework in various basketry. Sedge was used for most of the yellowish material in the baskets. To help with the tight weaving needed, an awl made from part of a deer's shin bone was used. These usually measured five to seven inches. These are various types of food storage and cooking baskets. The Native Americans would actually cook in these baskets by putting ground acorn in and adding water. The baskets were so tightly woven that they could hold the water. Then they would use sticks to grab very hot rocks from their fire and place them in the basket. This would boil the water and cook the mixture into mush or potato cakes. The designs on the baskets represented various important facets in the Native American's life. Some would show people holding hands and were called friendship baskets. Once the white sailors began moving in, more combinations of designs were weaved into baskets. These were used primarily for trade with the white man. This is a wonderful example of a rattlesnake basket with a snowflake design ornamenting the top. These baskets were used only in the spring. The medicine man would put rattlesnakes in the basket and the parents of the tribe's children would pay him to dance over the basket, thus protecting them when the height of the rattlesnake season came each spring. This basket has a snake design with dancers and was probably used for preparing meals for the annual rattlesnake dance. Here's another example of a cooking basket with a rattlesnake design. Most of these cooking and storage baskets are between 18 and 30 inches tall. This cooking basket is decorated with a quail's crest. It could also be used for a storage basket. This basket has the deer foot design on it. This is a spectacular example of the artistic ability of the Native Americans. This is a deer track design, as opposed to the deer foot. From a distance, it looks like a zigzag, but with closer inspection, you can see the actual toe tracks of the deer. This different type of storage basket shows a rattlesnake design, and can you tell if it has the deer foot or deer track design? It is the deer track. This storage basket has the ant markings, but also has worm tracks, a zigzag, and a walking man. This beautifully decorated storage basket has the up and down the mountain design. It is another fabulous example of the craftsmanship put into each basket. This is one of the best examples in existence of a bottleneck basket with quail feathers woven into the edges. It is also decorated with quail top knot design and wild grape designs. This ingenious device is called a winnower. The Native Americans would toss grain in the air over and over, causing the outer hull to separate from the grain. As they continued the process, the lighter hull would simply blow away, leaving just the grain. 
a looser weaved version called a sifter with separate coarsely ground chunks and debris from the fine flour. This very large basket is called a burden basket. Measuring over three feet, it would be used to gather acorns in the late summer and fall. It could support as much as 150 pounds. Most of us have seen one of these. It is a baby carrier or cradle board. An arrow point design usually decorated a boy's and a diamond design usually decorated a girl's. After the infant outgrew his cradle board, it was hung high in a tall straight tree by the father, hoping to instill similar growth in the child. This is another rare piece in the Sanger Depot Museum's collection. It stands about five inches tall and has a lid. It would be used for storing sugar or other valuable goods. Our last example is very interesting. It is a gaming tray with dice. The Native American women would spend hours gambling. Some stories tell of women actually gambling away their children, but this has never been confirmed. The dice were split walnut shells filled with black pitch. They were often decorated with seashell pieces brought by coastal tribes for trade. This collection at the Sanger Depot Museum is one of the country's best displays of Native American baskets. A large part of this collection was donated to the Sanger Depot Museum by Mr. and Mrs. Oscar Brailer.